What's up developers and problem solvers? Rod Chicken in one to bring you guys another video today. And today we're going to talk about the fastest way to become a SQL programmer and really put you in a position so that you can get that, that career or start your career as a uh, SQL developer. So guys, I like SQL. Personally, this is the way I started my career as a developer. The thing about SQL is most in uh, most uh, advanced applications use some level of a SQL database or some kind of database and the good thing is this uh, SQL um, syntax and statements are relatively similar so if you can get one of them it's so much easier to go to the next so guys I don't want to focus on a specific languages I want to talk about SQL in general and anybody who needs a SQL developer knows that hey if I find somebody who know the basics, then we're going to be good to get started. But first of all, guys, if you haven't already, if you want to start being a SQL developer, I need you to sign up for my seven step career guide to become a SQL developer and really know the foundational pieces so that we can take your career to the next level. So go ahead and sign up for that. And also, if you guys want to be a part of the DigiLink community, you get access to that too. Go ahead and sign up for that also. So it's very important that you become a SQL developer. It's in demand, it pays really good, and really puts you in a position so that you can have a long-term career. You have to learn the basic SQL statements. I know that's obvious, but we have to start there. A lot of you guys don't even know what select statements are, update statements, inserts, deletes. We have to learn the basics, guys. If you haven't learned that, you can go pull up a general YouTube video and get that really fast and easy and really get you guys started. And there's other statements too, where, from, and all that good stuff like that. But that's why you guys go look at other tutorials to learn that. We want to make sure you guys have a direction, a strategy in order to know what to learn. Learn fast, put yourself in a position to get that job. So that's number one. Learn those statements. Number two, guys, let's review current SQL databases. They can be a MyPHP SQL database. This can be a uh, Microsoft SQL Server database. Whatever popular application for the software you are using or or the, or the job uses, you need to be reviewing that SQL. You need to know what the functions are, store procedures. Just go read them, kind of know what's being stored where the main tables, the main areas that things are being stored at. Because what this does for you guys subconsciously give you an idea of the structure, the architecture of a SQL database. The good thing about this, you can apply these through most projects. Most applications kind of have a similar, well, all of them going to have tables <laughs> all of them gonna have join tables some kind of way maybe a different strategy but they're gonna join their tables by some kind of index or shared key and then you guys kind of know the rest from there you build off of that this really puts you in a position so that you can feel comfortable knowing that hey you know I have knowledge I um, know how a um, perfect example or WordPress you can go use a WordPress website it has database tables. Go look through those tables. Go look through those functions. Look at those store procedures. How it pass data along to that application. That helps you guys really put you in a position to kind of get used to the code. See how people write their SQL statements. Really put you in a position to win, guys. And then once you learn it, you learn the, the structure of a database, you learn where things will go, things go, and things like that. Really put you in a position next to um, modify the database tables or modify the existing database. So what that looks like. Well, if you want to be able to add something to the SQL database, you may want to add a new module. You may want to store a piece of data that that application don't do by default. This is majority what you're going to be doing as a SQL developer, guys. It is important that you guys do this and feel comfortable doing this because this is what the job gonna require you to do for certain projects. That way you wanna add new functionality to an application, you can do that pretty easy. If you want to do any other um, projects, and want to add to a database or even create a new one. Um, you get used to reading that, that code, those SQL statements, you'll be ready to go. So guys, I know a lot of times you guys want to come in and learn everything up front before you actually apply for a job. No, don't do that. You need to know enough to solve problems. 
get projects out the door and really do that project based learning that's going to put you in the best position to get that job i explained that in my seven step guide as a sql developer go sign up for that and that's going to put you in a position to get that job if you want me to review a resume go ahead and send it to me you can go ahead and i can bounce things off you i can put things in a way where it's going to help you guys um, get that job as a sql developer um, being a SQL developer is not that hard, guys. Most of the time, you're going to be reporting out of the database using select statements, providing data in certain screens, and updating the ex or updating and inserting um, data also, guys. So, if you have additional questions, comment below. If you want to really take things up a notch in your career, I have links in the description box for you guys to get started. Like, subscribe to the content. If you, have, if you guys have additional questions, comment below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.